Alright and welcome back to episode 5 part 2 Enjoy! Alright guys, so let's continue on I apologize for the last episode where we had to... Surprise, nobody wanted to take these Too bad they don't help us though I had some troubles with my mouse But I guess I fixed these now So Wow. I was worried all the parrots had left Beacon Town. Who, Archie? No, oh, he'd never leave. Oh, is he yours? Watching him for a friend. Let's just leave it at that. Luna. Doing okay, Luna? <laughs> yeah, I know it's scary. We're gonna get through it, though. Poor Llama. <laughs> Hey, you two. What's up, Jesse? You two haven't seen Lucas around, have you? We got separated when the admin zapped us to his prison. No, he... he's just been... missing. Kind of went underground. I'm... I'm sure he's okay, though. What brought you both back to Beacon Town? Yeah, we, uh, we heard something weird was going on. I had no idea how weird until we saw the lava, though. When you thought the admin was me, did he tell you anything? About a terminal, maybe? No, the guy's a jerk. Never answered a single question. He does spend a lot of time in that floating tower, though. Would she never let us go to? I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. We'll be here, keeping an eye out. <laughs> you really think that someone might try to get in? Don't know. Not taking any chances. It's like our home is still here, but it's not home, you know? Hey, we'll make things right, okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. But seeing what happened to Champion City has me a little more worried than I'd like, you know? I'll be fine. Go help Jack. Don't think we're going to be able to read our way up to the tower. Hey, Vinta. Adjusting okay? Just looking at scraps from some of the places Jack has been. Maybe someday I'll get to see them. If we defeat Romeo, that is. We will. Let me know if you find anything useful. Of course. Almost forgotten about that stash. Are these elytra wings? Those are super rare. Yeah, got them one time when I made a trip to the end. Nothing better for gliding. What was that? Out of my sight again, Nerm. Never again. <laughs> but how did you get out of that prison? Because I broke them out. Ah. Ah. Ivor, what on earth were you just doing hanging out up there? Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? 
That is a nice outfit, Ivor. I know. Thank you! Oh, oh my oh my gosh. Do you know who that is? That is Ivor, founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is a legend, standing in front of us, Nurm, within arm's reach. And my shop is a complete wreck. Trust me, Jack. Best thing around Ivor, just be yourself. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that makes a whole lot of sense. Thanks, ah. Jesse. Well, here goes. Ivor, of the Order of the Stone? Whew. This is quite the pleasure. Huh. Well, yes, of course it is. And you are... Oh, me? Oh, I'm, uh, the, uh, the, uh, stock, the, uh, stab, well, from the, I'm, uh, <laughs> nobody. Uh, how are you? <laughs> He's Jack. Oh, well, hello! Always nice to meet a fan. <gasps> uh, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly. He fell for my deception hook, line, and sinker. My story about you dying in your escape attempt? Admin loved it. And after the admin's appetite for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. Between both of our enormous intellects, we figured out a simple way to disarm maximum security and escape without being blown to smithereens. It was incredibly difficult and took many, many days of intense mental activity. And... A very large hole in the side of the Sunshine Institute, which I'm sure no one will notice. Hey. I can't believe that you risked your life for us. You could have died. What if Ivor hadn't gone back? Mm. <laughs> Nurm, you are a treasure. Now that the team is back together, Ivor, we need to stop the admin. We're supposed to use our word of passage at the primary terminal. Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes. I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. I have learned a lot of information that way. This terminal is certainly mysterious. But, hopefully, not for long. Just, uh... You sure we can't, like, reason with this admin guy? You know, talk it out? You? Wanting to talk it out? Jesse taught me to keep the explosions in Boomtown. That's not... Uh, you can't reason with this guy, Axel. Trust me. Yeah. Some people just don't want to be reasoned with. As soon as this guy sees us, he'll just blink us out of existence. I'm formulating a plan. We just need a distraction. Maybe a distraction like Jesse's big speech at the start of JesseCon? That sounds great, but elytra wings don't exactly go up. <laughs> they do with fireworks. Nerm, think you could get me a map of Beacon Town? Hmm. Here's the plan. Like Jack said, we need fireworks. Which the admin has stockpiled backstage at the event! Wait, isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this thing? Perfect. We'll never get backstage without fireworks guild uniforms. So we find Stella, and she shows us where they are. I'll grab them. We suit up. Boom! Backstage passes. Once we're there, we swipe some fireworks. Wait, what am I doing? You're going to be getting me a bucket of water. We'll get to that. While we're getting the fireworks, Axel and Olivia will distract the admin. Are you sure I can't just blow up the stage? Uh, that would be distracting. Axel? Then, we wait until the big fireworks finale. The what? It's Romeo. I promise you there will be a huge fireworks finale. Petra and Jack will wait in the order hall. The second those fireworks go off, I go airborne. Once I land, I use the bucket of water to create a waterfall. Uh -oh. 
I was wondering what it was for. Then, the three of us will head into the tower and use hashtag potato451 to strip the admin of his powers before he even knows we're there. See? Piece of cake. That... might just be the best crazy I've heard in a while. Jesse, this could work. Explosions, excitement, explosions. I love it. This all starts with getting Stella to help us, though. Yeah, she's pretty tight with that admin guy. Is she a friend of yours? She did seem kind of awful. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. Champion City was torn down. We all saw it. Stella's been hurt by the admin, too. There has to be a way to get through to her. Yeah, I wouldn't bet on that. Well, Stella does know where the fireworks guild uniforms are. I could follow her to them, and then we wouldn't have to talk. Great! Can I say how much I don't like this plan? You can, because you're staying here. Only Jesse stands a chance on the streets because Jesse is the admin! You don't exactly look like the you we saw earlier. You'll have to change. Jesse, I know you think Stella's just another victim of the admin, but be careful, okay? I think Jesse should be more worried about the admin showing up during this plan. Good luck, friend. One serving of admin coming up. I can do this. Time to find Stella. Seriously? An ocelot? What is that for? This place just keeps getting weirder and weirder. destroy his home what did champion city do to you destroying homes left and right absolutely no regard for people's lives you dare question me oh no 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 very sorry praise me jesse i need this to end once and for all Did it, Jesse. I did what you asked. Now there are pork chops for everyone. Would you like to taste one? I made it myself. They're fresh. No. How could you? No. No more pork chops. No more. But, but, but you, but it was, I was, okay. I'm so sorry. Hope that didn't get this guy in trouble. Glad Romeo didn't touch this, at least. Jesse, dude! Just unveiled the new statue you built, oh, yeah. It's got, um, 
character? Yeah, I kind of liked the old one, but... Whoa! Hey, I mean, you know what? This one is totally rad. I cannot keep my eyes off it. <laughs> Sha! Kind of feels like it's, like, following me sometimes, though, you know? It is pretty great, isn't it? I wouldn't change a thing. Ja, ja, sure. Go with your gut, totally. <laughs> I just came by to once again admire the update I did to my paltry first attempt at a statue. I really feel it's some of my best work. Yup, yup, coolio. Just keeping it the way it is forever. <gasps> yup. Keep it, uh, hanging, Nelly dude. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Understaffed. Then hire more people. Force them and grip them. I don't care. Jesse Khan will be the greatest thing this town has ever seen, or I will personally ensure you pay the price. Where the heck am I supposed to get more people? Bingo. That's our ticket in. It's now or never. Now we can- Oh, gravel! Where are those extra Jesse banners? Oh! Stella! Jesse! Back so soon! <laughs> Since when do you... Hmm. You're not the admin, are you? Hmm? Hmm? There's no use hiding the truth. I am not the admin, for I am actually the real bona fide... Jesse! I knew it! Keep your voice down, all right? I am so glad you're back. Pretending to be the other Jesse's loyal servant has been exhausting. <laughs> That's right. Wait, why am I just finding out now you're back? Don't you trust me, Jesse? I thought you'd move past your competitive nature with me. I am part of your core gang. I hate being left out of the loop like this. Surely you have a reason I'm not seeing. I wanted to, but it wasn't safe to contact you with you being so close to the admin. Oh, you were protecting me. We are such best friends. Look, Stella, I need these uniforms to defeat the admin. I don't have time to explain all the- No problemo, friendo. Carry on with your top secret mission. I won't spill anything to the admin. I happen to be an excellent actor. I shall get into character. Let's just, uh, separate, okay? Roger that. Exeunt stage left! What? I hate her. Jesse, I've got my best friends Olivia and Axel with me. Don't I? Who are you? Yes, thanks, Jesse. We love being your best friend. Don't we, Axel? Oh, yeah. Totally.
The resemblance is uncanny. It's amazing. More like terrifying. What's wrong, Benta? The admin. He's right there. Right in front of me. All the suffering he's caused. Killing Fred. Inflicting sorrow on my people. He's so close. I could just charge the stage and take my justice now. Standing here idly. Seeing that smile. It'd be useless. There aren't any weapons that can even touch him right now. Our only hope is getting that word of passage up to the tower. <sighs> You're right. Attacking him now would only doom us all. And as Jesse, your Jesse, I'm glad we let's go to work. Of course, it was mandatory, but I sense that you wanted to come anyway. No one permitted that here except... Fireworks Union, huh? Jeez, well, get back there then. Thank you. Now we can get to our jobs that we're totally qualified to do. <sighs> I'll find a bucket and report back. Good luck. I hope you can pull this off. Fireworks. Just stuff. Come on. Who plans a convention with no fireworks? That's like planning a birthday party without, you know, any fireworks. Why can't it ever be easy? <laughs> Please. When has it ever <laughs> been easy? Easy or not, I can't help but notice that we still don't have any fire. All right, guys, and thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really appreciate all the support you've given us. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe for more awesome content. And please also check out all of these thumbnails around me for more fantastic content from projects. Alright? Alright, and until the next time, bye-bye.